something crazy has happened. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is snow day. Hendrix, were you cold last night? Hi, handsome. You are in for a big surprise today. Yes, you are. <gasps> Look at that furry girl. Look at that snowy girl. You're crazy to go out in the snow. Smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, so overnight we got winter. It'll probably go away though cuz oh, it's going to be bye. It's going to be warm. <laughs> It's gonna be warm later this week on Sunday. It's gonna be plus seven degrees, so we'll just have mush instead of snow is my guess. But yeah, everything is slippery. Things you can only do when you live in a cold climate. Anyway, morning. good morning. Welcome to Today Today. I'm going tack shopping because apparently Look Finn is gonna up. need another warm blanket. And Gabby wants to blanket Stella. First. Yeah, it rained first, Gabby said. I don't know how. Look. Look, All our horses are going to be free today. Touch it and see if it shocks you. No, because it's covered with ice. Oh, gosh. And all I want to take it out. Give me. Ah, it shocked me. Woo! You fixed it, Gabby. You got to <laughs> go along and shake all the snow off. Yeah. My when you have horses and you hear noise, I sudden noise, you run. How beautiful though, you guys. Look how beautiful. I was expecting snow, but I was not expecting it to be this much. Were you expecting this much? No, I was expecting more. Oh, Ten foot deep. she was wishing for more. Anyway, I welcome to, the, to today. Let's see what today has in store for us. So, uh, this is going to be a nightmare to figure out. I know I have three medium weight blankets. This is Stella's. And then this is a uh, insulated. This is a medium too, I guess. So I got one medium for Stella. One for Storm. And then another one. And then I have this one. So I have four medium weight. This might actually be a heavy weight. And it's got a big tear. I could sew that. And this is the neck for that. And I also have this one, which is a lightweight. And then I have this one, and it's a lightweight too. What to do, what to do. So I think this is a heavy weight. And this, my friends, is why it's better to buy new blankets for every horse every 
year because it's just a mess trying to figure it all out. So I'm gonna do the seal test. This warmy boy is warm as heck underneath this blanket. So and it's insulated. Like it feels, it's nice. It's an insulated rain sheet. It's it's warm. I think it's good for today. I think you're good, dude. All together, learning about a history. Love and kindness, we all need a family. Together in my favorite season, it's to This has been happening all day. Why is this happening? You cheated. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> or I think. Think. Okay, I think. I didn't want to hear both of you. Cheat it. Okay, no, stop. Stop. Clearly, it. something happened with Sophia and she's embarrassed. <laughs> Something happened with you, Sophia. <laughs> okay, so back on track. Yeah. So uh, basically, oh, can you guys see? I don't know what's happening out there. Oh, Willie's is being a spicy little bucking bronco. We need to lunch them today. Wait, stop. I think it's because she's fresh because of all the snow. We need to lunch her she today. Was, Sophia, stop moving. She was bucking Stella, or she was bucking Willow. She's just ta chasing Willow around. Gracie. Gracie, I mean. Watch, here it's about to happen again. See, she's grouchy. She's like, storm, let's right? fight! Let's all fight! She, she told him a storm. She's like, man. Stella's so like, let's get me get me the heck out of here. Look at her. Come on. Come on, she's hurting her. And Stella doesn't care because that's That's normal. my spot! Get out of my spot, she says. There's so much excitement going out on out both windows. Every time the girls walk into a room, they're like, look at what's happening! <laughs> The boys pawed and made no. a nest okay. in the snow so they could they eat did? the grass. What do they I'm do? I'm like, I'm like, Mom, Willow just fucked. And Sophia was helping. I mean, Mom was helping Sophia, and they both went. Yeah, horses are exciting, you guys. That's why they don't put school classrooms out in the country where there are horses. No students would ever get any work done. I see cold water just drip down my neck. It was awful. Life has gotten awful. It's awful, you guys. It's all a mud pit now. It's just a big mud pit. Oh my. So basically, that's what everything looks like. Oh, Gabby, come out here. You don't see green. And the horses are not happy. We're going to give them all lunch. You guys are going to get lunch. What was that? What's the matter? Can you not get to your friend? Can you not get Ruby to your never friend? screams like that. Is the cat okay? Oh, yeah. He is fine. We Sam is picking up more hay today. Life on the farm has just stepped up one whole notch. Like it is gonna be a whole heck of a lot harder now. Let's you guys gotta take hay out to the boys. Okay, one pack. Oh Stella, you are so pretty out there in the snow. Oh I wish that it would never
happy to know that today, while well, ordering a lot of Christmas stuff on Amazon, I ordered a bunch of stuff. I'm excited about that, but you guys are gonna be excited to know. I ordered a new camera, because ours has been on the fritz and full of hay. And yeah, so we're gonna have another camera. Uh, sometime probably next week, it'll arrive. Hey Gracie, what do you think of the snow? What do you think of the snow? Huh, what do you think? I see, I, we were watching you at the window today and you were acting like a crazy girl. So I, if you're just tuning in now, you might not know that I give Gracie a supplement for ulcers. She absolutely 100% did have ulcers. Um, uh, the supplement that I give her heals ulcers and maintains ulcers and she does not have any ulcers anymore. She used to have, she started having flares regularly last spring and she's not had a single flare in months and months since I started giving her this medication. So she does get it, but she's also been grouchier. So I don't know if she's grouchier since we brought since we brought Willow or if she's just feeling more at home and herself. Willow, since we brought Gracie home, I don't know why she's kind of grouchier, but she's kind of grouchy. You are a grouchy girl. Like she's changed for the worst, <laughs> but she needs the medicine. So she's going to stay on it. Stop warming the Gracie. Is she? I noticed that the... The horses at our lesson barn, I swear, are furrier than our horses. Ah. The girls are worried about our horse's feet. The hardest part about boarding your horse in place is that you don't have a say in the conditions. You don't have a say in how they run the barn. You don't have a say in a lot of it. So even though we were on an amazing barn before, um, bringing them home was such a big, huge, amazing thing because we got to make all the decisions and do the best for us and for our horses. So boarding them again is gonna be really hard because we're gonna have to give up some of the control and we're gonna have to give up some of the decision making. But the barn that we're going to is a really a kind, loving barn. And even though everything is not perfect and beautiful and it's an older facility, their mindset there is amazing and I am excited for for our horses to be there. I'm gonna do whatever I can to try and figure out the mud thing because our horses aren't used to the mud, but I really respect the morals at that place and I really respect the way they run things and the way that they allow us to just kind of do our own thing with our own horses and so that's why we're going there. The mud, I'm gonna try and figure out. If you guys have any ideas um, what people do to fix mud like that, uh, comment below because I definitely am on the search now while I can. I've seen these big huge gray panels that you can put in the mud and it definitely helps. I don't know if it helps in that kind of mud. I'm going to look into those but if you guys have something that you do for mud let me know. Welcome to the day by day first annual check to see challenge who grew the best winter coat challenge you think it's willow comment one in the comments if you think willow made it the grew the best winter coat if you think it's gracie our girl gracie comment horse number two gracie in the comments oh, whoever has the most eye boogers it's between it's a palomino challenge yeah it's so comment two for, don't show them, comment two for Gracie. Or if you think little Miss cat Stella, butt in your face. yeah, I have a cat butt in my face, literally. If you think it was little Miss Stella that grew the thickest coat this winter, comment number three in the comments. Okay, results quick because my battery's dying. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. All right, so contestant number one. If you guys can see, I don't know if you can see. On my hand. See how thick her coat is? Wait, Mom, you know what you should do? Do this. Okay. Contestant number two. She has the most fur. Look at my hand. Look. All I did was that. And literally, look. Yeah, that is a pretty thick coat, Gracie. You've been doing, whoops. You've been growing good hair. And contestant number three. Oh, Stella. Actually, Gabby, I don't know. Gracie, and look at this. You guys see that? Uh, Stella. So Stella's got a big, a good butt hair. Oh, she is fluffy. Is Gracie Stella Storm Sandy Willow? Storm actually has 
But Willow should have the thickest coat. Yeah, Willow should have the thickest coat. But it's Gracie. Top three. Gracie, Stella, Willow. Gracie. No, Gracie, Stella, Storm. Yeah, but he's not and in this contest. He's not in this contest. Oh. Um, so I'm gonna um, go get us a new battery because this one's dying. But the ponies are gonna get groomed up and loved on. It's their favorite thing, can't you tell by Willow's Willow, expression? Willow will not <laughs> She's like, oh no, here Willow, we go again. Willow will not pick up her feet. She will back up and not be good with her feet. Unless I tell her what foot I'm gonna pick up. Aw, she, she likes to be talked to. She is the totally Sophie's girls. Just crazy how they pick. I was just gonna check how they pick. How they pick their owners. Oh. Something crazy just happened, you guys. I started a new channel just for me, just for me and you. And I started it. It's about to go live. I'm going to post it on Instagram. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, day by day vlogs, underscore day by day vlogs, you should be because it's where all the good stuff goes down. When Gabby gets her new horse, when we try her new horse, all the pictures, all of it will always go on Instagram first and Facebook mm -hmm. on our Facebook page. Yeah, so I have a new channel. I'm not even going to tell you guys what it is about, what it is, it's just about, I'm not even going to tell you guys, you're going to have to find out. So, um, if you want to follow me on a whole new crazy adventure, I'm like, it's scary you guys, I'm scared, I'm even scared to share it with you guys, but yeah, it's there. Huh. Um, I'm going to put the link below, and you guys can choose to follow me or not. But I'm excited and I can't wait to begin. Okay, just went live on Instagram. Anybody on Instagram will find out before you guys find out because I just posted it. And I had 18 subscribers. It's an old channel that I converted. I had 18 subscribers. And I can't wait to see who's going to be the first to follow me on this new adventure. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.